Hey guys, it's Louis Hartley here from Wood Unlimited. Uh, we've got a quick tutorial video today of how to clean your honeycomb bed on your uh, CO2 lasers. So uh, what I've got is an 80 watt Omtech. Uh, today I just really got tired of looking at all the buildup that's in there. I've been looking at it for a while, let it go too long, and decided that it was uh, time to go ahead and take that out and, and get it cleaned up. So a little like a good opportunity for a video. So today I'm just going to go through all the different steps of, of what I did to get it clean. I actually started the video at the point where I already had the uh, the honeycomb bed out of the laser, but it's really just two bolts that hold that thing in pretty self-explanatory Not hard to you know uninstall and reinstall the uh, the honeycomb bed uh, One thing before I get going is if my videos bring you any value at all If you can hit that like button or hit that subscribe button or hit both of them That would be fantastic and really help me out a lot, but uh, Thank you for watching and let's get into today's video All right, so I've removed the honeycomb bed from my 80 watt Omtech laser. And as you can see, it's a mess. All this is gonna have to be cleaned out. I'm gonna keep running the machine actually with the pot burn rotary and put it on in there and we'll make tumblers while I'm cleaning the honeycomb bed. So I've already taken it out and uninstalled it. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, when the honeycomb bed is already in here, there's usually a screw hole right here in the center of the honeycomb bed and another screw hole um, right here. I actually run mine without any screws and if you look I keep a Harbor Freight um, it's like a tool holder it's these things I use them for hold downs as well um, but what it is it's really just a magnetic bar it's a metal bar it's got magnets in it but it's really good for holding down plywood and I also use it to keep my honeycomb bed in place so it won't move uh, on that side edge there and on that front edge there I've got another one that's actually um, stuck in place you can see it right right there so anyway another little mini hack there but let's move on to cleaning the honeycomb bed all right so we got the honeycomb bed out out behind the house and have it leaning up against the house so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna take um, some LA awesome which you can actually get from I get it from Dollar General but you can get it online in fact I'll drop a, a link in the in the video description below but this is really good for cleaning up tumblers but it also help you out with uh, cleaning up your honeycomb bed. Another thing is like oven degreaser. Another good item for um, spraying down and pre-soaking your honeycomb bed before you clean it. So we're gonna spray this on, let it soak, and then we will wash the bed. So let's go. All right, so now we've got that sprayed down, I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for about 15 or 20 minutes uh, before we turn the pressure wash loose on it. All right, so we've let it sit for uh, 15 or 20 minutes um, and now we are going to pressure wash. So now that's done, I've just got it propped up in a sunny area to dry. I'll give it a while and then I will reinstall it inside of the laser. All right, so we're all done getting it cleaned up. It's dried and we're ready to get it back reinstalled inside the laser. That's all we got left to do and we are able to uh, get back to laser cutting and laser engraving. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I put out new content pretty frequently, hopefully uh, some things that will bring some value to you and help you in your uh, laser engraving journey. But if it did help you again, if you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Helps me out a ton. I love you forever. Anyway, thank you for watching.